Hello everyone, my name is Judd Wallace and I'm a staff technologist at Cohesity. I'll show you how you can integrate Cohesity with CrowdStrike Falcon Adversary Intelligence. Before I do so, let's discuss why this capability in Cohesity is important and how the integration strengthens your threat hunting and response capabilities using your secondary data estate on Cohesity. So why is this important? Today's threats are everywhere and constantly changing. Attackers are always improving their methods, using AI and new technologies to strike faster and more effectively. That's why it's so important to stay up to date with the latest threats and check if they're targeting your organization. Using leading threat intelligence feeds can help you to do just that, allowing you to spot threats early and respond. Using your Cohesity backups for threat hunting and response provides some advantages to help level the playing field with adversaries. A threat intelligence feed is similar to real-time news service for cybersecurity. Like a news service keeps you updated with the latest events worldwide. A threat intelligence feed provides indicators of compromise, a piece of digital forensics that suggests that a file system or network may have been breached with relevant context. This helps teams prioritize the most urgent issues and alerts. Cohesity customers can now bring your own Cyber Threat Intelligence, starting with CrowdStrike's world-class threat intelligence telemetry, which tracks over 245 adversaries, exposing their activities, tools, and tradecraft, while incorporating indicators of compromise. The seamless delivery of the telemetry from CrowdStrike Falcon Adversary Intelligence into the Cohesity Data Cloud allows you to stay on top of evolving threats and detect them with higher fidelity and accuracy using your secondary data estate. With our scalable threat protection framework, you can integrate default threat feeds in Cohesity, custom Yara rules, and third-party sources, starting with CrowdStrike, all in a single scan. With this, you can run threat hunts on your secondary data on Cohesity without being impacted by adversaries or incident containment activities. With that said, let's dive into the demonstration. Let's start by heading over to the Cohesity Security Center by clicking on Security and then Security Center. Now if we click on Integrations, you can see CrowdStrike Falcon Intelligence is configured, but let's check out Browse Integration real quick. Now if I scroll down just a little bit, we could see CrowdStrike Falcon Intelligence. You could figure the integration by clicking on the Configure button. To see what ours look like, we're going to go ahead and return to My Integration and then we're going to click on the three dots and select edit. Here you can see you can input the client ID, the client secret, and URL provided by CrowdStrike. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on cancel and we're going to pivot so we can show you what CrowdStrike Falcon Intelligence can do, especially in conjunction with CrowdStrike Falcon Log Scale integrated with Cohesity Data Cloud. Now imagine several systems at your company are down. SecOps has received notifications from DataHawk alerting them of anomalies, unusual patterns, and sudden change rates, such as a file written in the backup data. One of the security analysts then heads over to their CrowdStrike Falcon Log Scale dashboard to view the recently detected alerts ingested from Coicity DataHawk. Now we're logged into the CrowdStrike Falcon Log Scale console. From the log scale home screen, we'll select a repository called Demo. Here, we can run a search query to fetch Cohesity log data to investigate the anomalies. From the search tab, we can type one or more search terms in the search box. We're going to use the cluster ID. I'm going to select an existing query that already has the cluster ID. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And as we could see in the search results, appear in the event list filtered by selecting only alerts containing the cluster ID anywhere in the alerts data within that repository. Notice some of the items reported in the log, such as the event severity, the cause, which includes an explanation, and the Cohesity Protection Group run ID. Also, we see the event consists of the system name in several locations, one on the description. Now that we have had a chance to investigate the threats further, we decided it warrants further action. So we want to initiate a threat scan. So we're back here at the Cohesity DataHawk Security Center. From here, we can click on Threat Protection and then Threat Detection. 
Next, we could start a threat scan by clicking on Start Threat Scan. Then we could type in the first three letters of one of the systems we want to scan. Here, I'm going to type DHW and then enter. Here we could see the server in question. We'll select it by checking the box next to the system. Then we're going to click on Next Settings. Here, we could select all or a combination of default threat libraries, custom Yara rules, and integrations. We'll leave the default threat scan library chosen. Then we're going to check the box next to custom Yara and select a custom Yara rule. Here you could see we have some examples of custom Yara rules. I'm going to go ahead and select the first one called custom threat file, and then I'm going to click save. Next, we're going to click on the integration and we're going to select the CrowdStrike Falcon Intelligence integration. So I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark in the box and then I'm going to click Next Settings. Now that we've selected the threat feeds to scan against, we can choose the scan schedule, which we will leave at Scan Once. We can also select the most recent or a custom date range for the snapshot window. We're going to go ahead and leave it set at the most recent snapshot. And under Advanced Settings, you can see we can change the scan name or the scan location, but we'll leave them set as they are. And then we're going to go ahead and click Create Scan. We can see the scan is running. When complete, we can check the results to see what it found. With Cohesity's flexibility, organizations can bring in their threat feeds, allowing them to customize their protection based on their unique needs. It's like choosing news sources that cover topics most relevant to you, instead of relying on general news channel that might miss important details. By selecting threat feeds that are most relevant to their industry, business size, or specific risks, organizations can receive more accurate and timely information to protect themselves better. Now that the scan has been completed, we can click on the scan to view the results. We can see several files listed along with the file paths and hashes. Now that we have the hashes, we can investigate further to identify and classify those threats. That concludes our demonstration. We've covered how you can detect threats more accurately in your secondary data using industry-leading threat intelligence feeds from CrowdStrike, along with the default threat feeds in Cohesity and Custer Yara rules in a single scan. This capability supports threat hunting and response. Before that, we also showed you how you could send Cohesity security detections automatically to Falcon LogScale using our API for correlation and investigation. To learn more about how we're working with CrowdStrike to boost threat hunting and incident response, please visit cohesity.com forward slash CrowdStrike. Thank you for watching.